the highway you're looking at right there is Highway 7, and that's north of Tishomingo, Oklahoma, and it veers back off of 377, which is the same road that comes all the way down here into Texas. Pretty simple to get there, not too far. I like to zoom in on these signs so you can kind of see what the uh, what more details and more information are on the signs. This is the first fork in the road that you take a left at, and this one takes you from an area right there where you can catch and kill to the catch and release area. And once you get up to catch and release, there's falls all over the place. And those help you judge actually uh, how much water is flowing. They're loaded with oxygen, loaded with food, as you can see. There's a lot of different ways you can fish here, but what I choose to do most of the time is fish with woolly boogers and, and wet flies that get down pretty deep. We want to get deep. You need to use a 9 foot leader and uh, fluorocarbon. And just make sure that you get that fly time to sink and keep it out of the, the, the heaviest current and try to get it off to the edges of the current, just like we do anywhere else. We want, to, we want to catch them on the edges of the flows. One thing I did see as we get into the afternoon is that I could actually see, as the sun came and went, see the fish um, rising for my fly really close in, really close to the falls themselves. So make sure that you don't stop fishing until your fly is actually you know, back in hand because the uh, opportunities don't stop just because the fly gets close to you or right up to the falls. Hey guys, how's it going? Today we are on the Blue River and I just want to show you kind of our setup here. This is a uh, Orvis Bat and Kill 3. We've got the uh, TFO Lefty Prey. It's a 4 weight 7 9. Love this rod. Anyway, caught a few fish this morning and now we are uh, stopping for a bagel break and we'll fish a little bit more and be gone. So we had a pretty good morning, caught about six fish and uh, varying sizes, saw a huge one that I didn't get a line on. But uh, anyway, we'll take a look up, up river a little bit further and see what we can find. As you fish these falls, you know, this is a reverse direction from what you normally see probably, but as you fish these falls, make sure you fish them in all the way in and then also keep in mind that as the sun comes and goes, so will the action. Um, I was kind of surprised that they kind of tended to bite right at the beginning of when the sun came out from behind the clouds and then after a few minutes they disappear again. But uh, these fish, uh, again, they're very green, they're very uh, wary at this point in time. I think that these fish will have time to settle in and learn and kind of go a little bit wild. But uh, you mix that in with some stalkers that show up whenever they stalk here. And a guy you want to talk to about stocking and things like that and get really highly detailed information is Barry Schrader out of Tishomingo, Oklahoma. He's a very good contact. And so that fish right there is probably my biggest fish for the day. He got away. But uh, anyway, it was a good day. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something about the Blue River and southern Oklahoma. Well guys, it's a pretty good day. The last fish was my best fish, and of course I didn't catch him because I don't have a net. I hooked him, got him all played, got him in, and then he got off. So when you're fishing barbless, sometimes that's the way it goes. But anyway, hope you guys had fun watching the video. And uh, this is uh, kind of an average day. It's a little bit below average for Blue River. But uh, if you read the article, you'll see that there are uh, some GPS coordinates, maps, and things like that to go with the story. So. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.